What is going on guys, Jack here and welcome to this different video really, I haven't done a video like this before but this is going to be the best under 19s at full potential in the year 2021, so 9 seasons in and uh, we're going to start things off with the goalkeeper here, Stefanos Capino. He didn't really grow at all at first, but after a while, I think after about 11 seasons, he started to grow. And that's because goalkeepers don't usually grow until the latter stages of their career, especially in V14 career mode. So you will have to bear that in mind when you are purchasing these young uh, goalkeepers because it's going to be very difficult to grow them at first. But then eventually you're going to be able to grow them. But we've got Marquinhos here. Of course, he's got 90 potential, I think. And uh, the thing is, I didn't play these players consistently, and that is something that you do need to bear in mind. I did try loaning them out, and that is a method that I will discuss in another video. Loaning them out to boost their potentials, and that is something that's very important if you do want them to kind of get over their expected potentials, if you like. And how I got this far in career mode, I basically just simmed all the way through. I literally simmed nine seasons of career mode and uh, this is the product that has come out of it and uh, Junior Melander here I know he can get a lot better than that and it's the same as Zakaria Bakali he can produce wonders he can be absolutely incredible I bought him from PSV very recently for 29 million plus Adrian who is another good youngster and he is under eight, uh, under 19 sorry and uh, we got Leandro Paredes here probably one of my favorite players in this team although I haven't actually played a game with this team he grew really quickly and then uh, he kind of stopped for a little bit. But um, you'll notice that if these players are in good form, they will reach their potentials a lot quicker. And um, Emo Ezekiel here, absolute incredible looking player. I can't wait to play with him. I'm going to be showing you the game or one game later on in this episode. And I'm going to be showcasing how good this team is in the Champions League final against Real Madrid. So hopefully you guys will look forward to that if you have got this far already in this video and uh, we've got a lot of players here and something I do want to also tell you is that there are a lot of other players that you can have in this team but these are the best ones that I've kind of compiled together and uh, of course you could have lots of other different players and if you do want to suggest them down in the comments down below please do so and uh, right here we got Stefan Torre and the reason I bought this guy I actually bought him from Eint Frankfurt in the Bundesliga. And if you haven't guessed it already, it is Ribery's regen. He did retire and then the next season after that, I thought, you know what, I might as well pick up his regen. And if you do want me to do a video on regenerated players, maybe a full team of regenerated players like regenerated Ronaldo, regenerated Messi in a full team. Maybe I'll do that in a separate video. And if you do got if you guys do want to see that please do let me know down in the comments down below and hopefully you are enjoying this video so far. It's something different and uh, something that you did want to see as well. So right here we got Sebi Shrivers. I think that's how you say his name. He's another great player and once again he could have hit a lot higher potential. He's only 24 still so he's still got a lot of growing time left. One of the youngest players in the squad starts 16 in the game and uh, a very quality player at that and we've also got Saul here. Another really good player and uh, I think in the last transfer window I actually bought three or four of these uh, players just to put them into the squad so they didn't have enough time to grow to their full potentials. Although a lot of these players as it is haven't actually hit their full potentials. Thorgan Hazard being one of them. Of course Eden Hazard's younger brother and uh, he didn't hit full potential at the potential of 83. And this is the formation that I'm rocking, a 4 triple 2 I've got Joao Cancelo at right back. He's a really good right back. Great sprint speed and acceleration. He's a really good player and I can't wait to play with him. Also got Luke Shaw at left back. He rocketed up like this season and last season. He absolutely flew up in overalls. And uh, the thing is, if you actually do play all of the games up until... 2021 with this exact same squad you're going to get results you're going to get an absolutely awesome team I'm telling you guys because these guys have not hit full potentials and uh, they will not hit full potentials because they are at their uh, peak in their careers but we've also got Yanis Blazwich and that's something that I do want to mention also is there was a lot of kind of glitch players in this career mode which I did notice and those are the players that don't have high potentials, but somehow reach ridiculous overalls. Like, Yanis Blaswich, his potential is about 75, but he hit 87 
absolutely ridiculous. And you can see there, Messi at the age of 33. Still one of the world's best. And uh, right now, I'm just going to show you all of the best players, really, that are left in this career mode. Ronaldo being one of them. At the age of 36 years old, he's still playing absolute legend in this career mode. And you can see his physical stats have taken a big hit. But he's still got his five-star skills and his uh, really good uh, reactions and attack position. A great veteran, it says there. And that is, of course, for players that are over 36 and still haven't retired. And David Silva here, 72 overall. And look at those physical stats. One marking. EA, really, one marking. How can a player be that bad at marking? And it's the same with Jan Vertonghen. A lot of these players have really good mental attributes. They don't lose their mental attrib attributes, but their skill attributes and especially their physical attributes take a massive hit. You can see here, Ika Casillas is still playing at the age of 40. He's got horrible stats, but he's 69 overall. Wow, he is a legend. He is a legend in this career mode. And it's the same with Iniesta, although he's retiring at his uh, contract end. But Sergio Ramos was a massive surprise. He kept his physical stats and he broke the trend of career mode, which is when a player gets past 33, their physical stats just take a massive hit and they decrease very, very quickly. And uh, as well as their overalls, of course. And their mental stats, I think they do increase as well, which is quite interesting to see. And uh, we're going into the match now, though, uh, showcasing the squad and how good it can be. Of course, if I'd actually played through these nine seasons, I would have seen how much better it would have been. And uh, of course, these players, I probably could have had a whole team full of 85 plus overalls. I'm being serious here, guys, because these players. Didn't play consistently every season, game in, game out. And that's something you do have to bear in mind. If you do do that and you get these players in your career mode and you take this career mode or any other career mode very, very far, you are going to get results. You're going to get players that are going to have ridiculous stats and it's just going to be really, really good for you because you're going to have a really solid team at the end of the day. But this is certainly a way to showcase the squad at its full potential. This is going to be very interesting. Of course, we've got Zakaria Bakali, one of the best youngsters in Karima, one of the best youngsters in football playing in the starting lineup. And Real Madrid actually had quite an interesting starting lineup, you could say. They made some quite interesting transfers, of course, Yanis Blaswic. That's something you do want to keep an eye out for. If you do want to do a career mode like this, and look for these glitch players, I really highly recommend it. Because if you do want to look for players, that are just going to shoot up in overalls. That is just something that you can really, really exploit. Because this game is really buggy. And of course, Yanis Blaswich. You may want to search him up on Foothead. He doesn't have the highest potential whatsoever. And it's kind of ridiculous that he's managed to hit 87 overall. I just don't understand the logic there. What is going on, EA? Can you please explain to me why this player is at 87 overall at the age of 29? When his original potential is only about 70 to 75, it's pretty ridiculous. And uh, you can see the starting line up there. Quartes is still playing. Quite, I think the whole team actually is full of real players. Isco still playing. Hazard, Di Maria and of course Bale up front as a lone striker. Very interesting team that Real Madrid have. And of course they've got Cristiano Ronaldo on the bench. Which is a shame to see because he is a world class player. But we do start the scoring off here with Ezekiel and he was incredible in this game to play with. It's just a really good team to play with and the youth that I've managed to create, the kind of team that I've managed to create after nine seasons is absolutely incredible. Ezekiel's pace off the mark is just blistering. It's unstoppable. And right here, Leandro Paredes, despite having 98 long shots and 97 shot power, he couldn't quite finish that off the Argentine central attack and midfielder. But something I do want to reiterate that I have mentioned quite a few times is these players, and remember, these players, these are just a selection of players that I have chosen that are under 19 and have really high potential. So, of course, I'm going to miss out a few players. And uh, if I do miss out any, I do apologise. Maybe I'll do a separate video showing those players. But I did try to include as many of them as possible in the squad. But at the same time, I didn't want to include too many so that they'd get to their potentials and make sure that they would do really well by getting to their potentials. And just showcasing what kind of teams you can build with youth and what kind of future prospects you can make with career mode. And uh, it's very interesting indeed. But Gareth Bale, the ex-Tottenham man, manages to score past Capino. He'd had a really good game. 
but it just wasn't quite enough. And for the first time in this career mode, we actually managed to win the Champions League against Real Madrid. Just showcasing what a fantastic team this is. Technically, physically, mentally, they were just all over the pitch. They were really good. And uh, my fullbacks were very impressive as well. Able to keep up with any wingers in the game for sure. And uh, an impressive victory there against Real Madrid at home. FK Austria have come leaps and bounds since I've taken them over for sure. And uh, a lot of youth prospect really from this team. Just showcasing what you can really make with youth. And um, maybe if you do want to go out and try some of these players for yourself, as you've seen their stats on the uh, on the squad report, maybe you do want to go out and try these players. For sure, I'd recommend any of these players in the squad because they are all incredibly good. And, uh, well, the last season ever that I'm going to be doing of this career mode. And I actually managed to win the Champions League. But this is the end of the video. Hopefully you've enjoyed this kind of video that I have made for you guys. It did take me quite a while, but hopefully you have enjoyed it. And if you did, be sure to hit the like button and suggest me future videos that you want with this kind of intent of uh, going far in career mode. But guys, I really hope you have enjoyed this episode of career mode. And I'll see you next time for another episode. Thanks for watching.